Hello my beautiful people, good morning to you. It's a very wonderful morning. Here is raining and of course the weather is cold and I know wherever you are it may be sunny, it may also be raining. Uh, but in any case, in every situation, we say we should give thanks to God. Uh, yeah, my name is Morsi, I'm the General Manager at PPGC, Kum, Media Director, BTV, that is a subsidiary of PPGC. Today I want to give us some keys that will help us to be successful. And that is why we call this program Billionaire Mindset Success Keys. It is a product of PPGC where we enlighten you and inform you on how you can be successful in any field of your endeavor. Of course, today I want to talk or give you about you know, like five reasons why those who seek to be successful oftentimes don't have success. Now, without wasting our time, I want to give you reason number one. One is lack of vision. Now, the good book, which is the Bible, made us understand that my people perish for lack of knowledge. Now, what is knowledge? Knowledge is simply an information that you get that will enhance your mental capability, cap capacity and capabilities. Now, the information that you don't have will keep you in ignorance. And ignorance, they say, is not an excuse to become successful. Now, in the event that you are not informed, the consequence is that you become deformed. But when you are rightly informed, you know better, and then you are able to form your opinion and take the right decisions. Now, for example, are you aware that a company like PPGC is into what we call ROI, that is Return on Investment, where we give people interest rate of 2%, 10%, 15%, and 35% respectively. Now, we talk, when we're talking about this, we're talking about monthly investment pro, uh, uh, program or package. We're talking of four months package. We're talking of six months package. Then we're talking of one year package, which is the ultimate, that which gives you 35% as a return on your investment. Now, if you're not aware that a company like BBGC run this kind of program or package, you are ignorant of it and you will not be able to key into this program and make money for yourself. And that is why I'm letting you know that information is vital. Information is power. Though some people say that knowledge is power, but I tell people I say no, not just knowledge, but it's applied knowledge. It's applied wisdom that is a power. Because if you have the power, you have the knowledge in your hand, but you don't apply it, it's as good as you don't have the knowledge. That is just what it is. So today, I am bringing you this success case in order to let you know that the first thing you need to do to become successful is that you must have to have vision. Now, what is the vision? It's actually having a clear-cut uh, idea of what your future projects for you or what your future holds in store for you. But oftentimes, a lot of people don't know the reason for which they are even living. If you ask an average individual, what is your vision for tomorrow? He doesn't have it, but he doesn't have the blueprint to explain to you what you really want or what, or what vision actually means to him or how he's able to achieve that vision. So that is why you must always sit down and make a calculative uh, 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 commitment to say that today I am born for a reason into this world and I'm starting to have the vision to drive my dream. And once you are able to do that, you now begin to see that other ideas begin to come your way that will enhance your success moves or steps. And one of the ways that you can actually have, like I said, is having the vision first, having your dream first, having the thoughts first, putting it down one by one. And then you begin to achieve it one after the other. And before you know what is happening, you'll be able to realize a dream. Now, the other reason why people don't seem to make success is that they lack commitment and dedication to whatever they're committed to. Now, it is one thing for you to have vision. It's another thing for you to have the commitment to drive that vision. That means you must be purpose-driven. When you are not purpose-driven, you cannot be dedicated 
to that particular course that will help you achieve success along the way. Therefore, you must be determined and you must be dedicated. You must be committed 100%. It is not like you're going to commit, to, commit yourself 99%. No, it's going to be 100% for you to actually realize the kind of dream that you have for yourself. Many a time, you may have dreams, but the commitment to pursue that dream to a logical conclusion becomes an issue. And it will only take your dedication to say, yes, I must dedicate myself to this thing today to achieve this. I must dedicate myself to this thing this week to achieve it. I must dedicate myself to this thing. That is, you must map out time. You must map out time and resources. You must summon up the energy and the courage to really help you to achieve that vision. It takes commitment. It takes resilience. It takes energy for you to actually actualize that. And more so, the reason why some people are where they are today is as a result of procrastination. What you could have done today to give you that success, you say, no, I will put it away. I will do it tomorrow. And it's often said that tomorrow never comes. That is why whatever you know you can do today, you must have to wake up and keep the ground running. You must hit the ground running to do what? To be able to achieve that dream. Lazy people don't achieve dreams. Lazy people don't have vision. But it takes those who have commitment and dedication to actually achieve their dreams. Procrastination will make you also not achieve that dream because procrastination will tell you, oh, you're too tired. You should have to have a little sleep today. And yet, the good book still says that a little sleep and a little slumber so your poverty will come. That is the more reason why you must make hay while the sun shines. You must not shift your responsibility of today and post it to tomorrow. Because tomorrow is not, is, you know, you are only equal with today. You only want today, you don't want tomorrow. And they will say again that tomorrow might be too late. This opportunity comes but once. But if you make your plans well, you discover that opportunity may come more than once. But it depends on how you are able to see it. It depends on how you are able to get committed to it. It depends on how you are able to get yourself dedicated to it. But when you keep procrastinating what you can achieve today, and you keep shifting it to tomorrow, 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 when tomorrow never comes, you discover that you will not be able to achieve that because tomorrow will never come. Because tomorrow will always be tomorrow. Tomorrow will always be tomorrow. It's always shifting. But if you can make up your mind to say, yes, today I want to achieve this, I want to achieve that, at the end of the day, you will not take a stock of what your day activity was like. What were you able to achieve today? What were you not able to achieve today? Tomorrow you work on it and you discover that you are climbing a ladder of success. Men who are successful are men who have vision. Who says, I know where I'm going tomorrow and I'm already seeing it today. When you look up there, you discover that people who are successful today have actually had the dream, I mean, yeah, uh, uh, tomorrow rather, have actually had the dream today. Take for example, my boss, Prince Okoye Emmanuel, the MDC or PPDC. Before he was able to put this company together that has become a multi-millionaire investment today, he has actually had the vision yesterday. And he dedicated me and committed me to towards it. And today, he's realizing all that dream. And in realizing that dream, we are able to come up with different kind of products. Now, today we have one product that is called Grow Your Money with PPDC Limited. And that is property partnership with PPDC. Talking about land stroke, landed properties. What am I talking about? In this case, we are professionals who will help you buy land or buy your landed properties at a very cheap rate from a distress sale and after that we are able to sell it at a better price for you we make profit for you in other words you give us money and say this is the kind of property that i want and we buy it within 90 days we're able to resell that property for you now if we had sold that i mean bought that property for like 10 million for example we are able to make at least another 15 million naira on eight i mean so another five million naira, making it 15 million so we are looking at making 5 million naira profit margin. 
So this is what we do as a company. But it only took vision and commitment for us to arrive to that particular point that we are today. It only took personal commitment and dedication. Now, you can imagine if we were saying, ah, no, not today, I'll put it off, I'll do it tomorrow, and all that. Tomorrow never comes. We won't have been able to get to the level that we are today. But we have taken the onus, we have taken the responsibility to say, whatever we can achieve tomorrow, we can also achieve it today. And that is how we are coming up strong every day with different packages. Are you talking about ROI? Are you talking about this property partnership with PGC? Are you talking about the BTV? Are you talking about daily pay and all of these things? These are things that we have all inclusive and even more so, we have our, our wonderful luxury apartment that is in Asaba, one of the best in Asaba, all owned by PPGC. Because they said business is as good as the brain behind it. Because the MD has the vision and has the good brain, today we are achieving wonderful uh, successes here and there. You can also achieve the same if you can actually key into the principles of achieving success. What I'm talking about, why people don't achieve uh, good success today, is one, lack of vision. I said two, lack of commitment and dedication. I said three, procrastination. Now four, have, I mean, have what you believe in. Now what is it that you believe in? What's your core value? If you believe that you are an achiever, you can achieve more. Because that is your core belief. But if you are that type who feels that, yes, I always have a brother who's a brother who can always send money to me each time I call on them and all that, in fact, you're not doing yourself any good. You must always do what? Believe in what you believe in and have your core values. I am just taking these things fast because of our time. Otherwise, I would have taken time to really dissect it more than what I am doing now. Lastly, inability to take a quantum leap will make certain people not to be successful. Now, if you are an athlete, you will see that they will be in that position of on your max set goal. And once they stand up, you see they take a leap. Now, that quantum leap they have taken is taking them to the next level where they will go to the finishing line and achieve medals. Now, while you are taking this quantum leap, you also need to know that there are some calculative risks that you must have to take. And of course, they said, no venture, no success. And also, to put it the other way around, that no risk, no gain. If you go through the risk of pain, you are likely also going to achieve the benefits of gain. Well, I think I've just spoken so much uh, because of our time. Until I come your way again next time, just work with this little tip that we're giving to you, and you will not regret that you did. Really appreciate you for listening. Thank you, and God bless you richly.